YouTube, what's up? Listen, I'm making a lot of uh, requests lately to uh, show you guys the shop and all the uh, equipment that I'm using. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you a real quick video on how this place is, how it runs, and what I'm using as far as uh, barber and stuff, all right? Check it out. So as most of you guys know, I have a house shop. I have a shop at my house um, that is legal and permitted uh, through the town. And what I did was, you know, this room used to be a little smaller. Um, we ended up expanding it onto the porch, the front porch, which gave me, you know, like an extra four by 12 uh, or around 60 square feet of, of room. And in that case, I was able to add a door, an exterior door. When people come in, they come through a separate door into the, into the actual barber shop without going through the house like they used to. And we also added a bathroom because we have that extra space. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick on how it looks and uh, hopefully you guys like it. So we are always festive here. As you can tell, before you come in, we always got you know something for the uh, whatever holiday it is. And I got my little Ricardo the Barber sign, but uh, you know, it's kind of nice out here. But either way, I got a side door which used to come in through here. Now you come in through the side door into the shop, like so, and you're greeted into here. All right. So first thing, we got a barber chair set up, a nice pad. Um, you know, we have the cabinets here that I ended up building, you know, in some of my previous videos, because I'm a cabinet maker. So, I have my cabinets and all my equipment. Nice and clean, little garbage in the corner. All right, so we can move over here. This, this I like the spotlight. You know, I always give out free drinks, no matter what. If you're here, you're thirsty, you know, open it up, grab water. You know, I keep a couple chairs, just in case someone comes with uh, kids or family members. Um, you know, we have two, three seats in here, but it's all by appointment only, so there's really no need for a lot. Over here, we have our hair wash station, which I don't use often, but if I need to, I have it, all right? It's better to have it not need it than to need it not have it. We have it, all right? We got hot towels over here. Um, yeah, my old trophy when I won a barber battle back in the day, 2016. Yeah, it's been five years, couldn't win since. <laughs> Michael Myers mask on top, pretty cool. And here, right here, is one of a little bit of artwork. It's pretty cool. People ask, what is that? It's a barber chair, man. It's, it's laying back, you know what I mean? It's, it's actually laid back the whole way. Oh, I, I see, I see now. Yeah, you don't see. But either way, it's a barber chair. Pretty cool. Got it from my buddy Carlos from Pennsylvania. All right, let me, let me pop this in there. All right, so over here, um, you know, we have our computer set up. A nice gaming computer um, with everything I need, extra monitor bunch of ring lights for whenever I shoot videos. Um, nothing too crazy, but it definitely works and it works good. You know, it's there for what I need and it does the job. So that leads into my house, my actual house. But here is, this is all added right here. This little room, this is the bathroom. So this right here where I'm pointing to this door, this is where I used to cut hair at in the old videos where my walls were red before the bathroom was added in. So we took out where the toilet is we took out the closet that was on the other side in the other room and we, you know, where the door was would be that wall now. So what we did was we blocked it off and, um, you know, you can see the existing wall from the closet is partly right there, but there's, there's uh, water lines going up through there so we couldn't really take it out. So either way, you know, we added a bathroom, made it look nice, nice and clean, everything, you know, things on a timer up there. So you have the vent that turns on. You know, everything nice and clean for everybody. That's what you gotta do. You got more artwork, as you can tell, of my artwork. Same with here, you know, for my buddy Carlos, my man. Um, this is pretty much the shop, all right? This is where I operate. This is where I work and do my thing. And then when I'm done, you can enjoy some computer time, edit or play a game. You know, I definitely play some games. It's one of my favorite things to do. But uh, let's get down to what I'm using for gear, all right? As far as clippers go, let's check it out. All right, from left to right, we have a big assortment of cordless clippers, all right? I do have some corded clippers that I'm not including on here because I don't really use them as much anymore. And it is what it is. Get yourself a razor. You always gotta have a razor, all right? Black Widow, same with Tex Resin shears and the, and the shears themselves. Uh, very sharp, very durable metal. Um, I use them all the time. All right, first thing I'm gonna point out, this first trimmer is by Unbranded. All right, pretty cool. I use this um, mainly for kids. There's different power levels. And I never really zero gapped it too good, so this way I can always have something dedicated for the children. 
you know, because they like to, uh, oh, this hurts, that hurts, when really, you know, you use the tremors on everyone else, you never have an issue. Kemi's here, Kemi's, Kamai, whatever the hell you want to call them. These I got because I modded them out. So these are pretty awesome. Uh, they got the same shape as the new, you know, T outliners, the um, XOs, whatever you want to call them, the GTX anyways, uh, with the GTX blade. So I modded them out and put an Andis blade on them, all right? It's not the hardest thing in the world. This is the modded blade, and these things hit pretty damn good. So I'm gonna make a video on that very shortly. These are my main two that I use right now. Um, these right here, 38 Super, these don't have as much power as the uh, Babyless. That's okay. This blade though, they made this blade, this blade hit, has a nice crunch to it. So disregard, these things are some little hitters, all right? Some very little hitters. Uh, Babyless, you already know, that blade is probably the best blade around, it is what it is. Just that these bad boys are getting loud, so I always switch between these two depending on the situation, all right? Then we're gonna get the clippers. We have a lot of cordless clippers here, all right? I think there's like six or seven. Yeah, there's seven cordless clippers here, man. I spent some money. Um, JRLs, I use the least. All right, I'm gonna point these out just because I have them. I didn't like the stock blade. I didn't like the, the uh, fade blade. I like the fade blade a little more than the stock taper blade. But I use them a little more now because I got the aux blade on there, all right? And there's gonna be another, another mod that I can do with these that makes it zero gap very good, as you, as you can see the video I put out last. Um, close but not close enough. So I'm dealing with um, filthy blends. He's gonna send me a uh, a bracket for this. I'm gonna make another updated video. These I don't use as much. Um, Magic clips, wall Magic clips. They were a very good clipper. Um, you know, it's the same as these. Just that this I have the standard blade on it and it's adjustable. These are just for balding. So I got the balding blade on there and I, I, I kind of tighten this down so you can't use it. Right? Just gotta just ball it out. That's all it's for. Um, I don't use this much because these balled out a lot better, right? And it shouldn't be like that if you got a balding blade. Why, why are trimmers balding better than these, right? They gotta figure something out where they can get a clipper that actually balls out better. As far as right now, not the case, all right? So these two I don't use often, these are brand new. Now we get up to kind of like the better uh, set of clippers that I have. Um, the Wall Seniors, kind of like these, a little bit sturdier, a little bit stronger, definitely, definitely stronger motor. Um, but I also have the ceramic blade on it, you know? These I've used a lot, I've made a lot of money with these bad boys. They pay for themselves over and over and over. You can put the grip on there because they use them so much. I don't want them slipping. But we get to these calibers, all right? These are just like these, same power, but they're lighter. These things are light. When I want to cut some hair, I can, I can fly through a haircut with these bad boys right here. Right? I don't use them as much just because I use these a lot. All right, but these these are, are killers. All right, so we get to the 50 cals. These are all 50 cals, these three, all right? This is your standard third gen edition, which I use a lot, all right? I love fading with these. They're not the best for bulk, but they remind me of the fast feeds big time. Um, two batteries, so these last for five hours. This lasts for three hours, right? This is a, a, a BMG you know, edition. Um, so these are sick because these come with a couple different blades. You can try the regular blade, the fade blade. I love the fade blade. It works too perfect for me to use the other blade. Um, but they come with different face plates too. So these I like because, you know, they, they not only do they cut good, they look nice. But my biggest, my favorite out of all of them are the 50 cal special edition, the limited edition. All right. This comes with uh, batteries that give it an eight hour runtime. Eight hour runtime. All right. I guess there's a low battery mode on this where it, t it tells you when it blinks. I've never seen it. I can't even show you what it's like, all right? Because I never get low battery with these. And obviously when they come with a docking station, you know, you're, you're done with them, you just pop them on. Unlike these that don't come with a docking station right here, unless you buy it separately, which is some crap, all right? So that's what I like about these, because again, they come with docking stations. If you don't come with a docking station, you know, you're kind of behind the curve, man. Uh, you're not gonna get a good, great for me if you, you you put a clipper out and you have nowhere to put it all right or you got to plug it in every time that's not convenient all right but um this is pretty much all the stuff that i use or don't use but i have um so maybe there's something new that you guys seen or you guys learned something who knows all right but there's links in the description if you guys want to get some get any of these i'll have uh links this way you guys can find the cheapest place all right whether you want to buy it or not totally up to you but if you're going to buy it 
spend the least amount of money on it just for the same thing all right but that's what I run with all right you know these uh, these here detailers they kind of stay where they're at <laughs> hate to say it like that just kind of hang out there like a redhead a stepchild away from everyone else profile shaver I use that a lot that's great so uh, up here we even got products right up here for products we got the elegance gel which I use all the time we have some some uh, lime there's lime spray for uh, aftershave awesome my buddy Carlos put me onto that banging so these are old elegance um, products that I don't use as much anymore because they got better I have better stuff now but I always keep it kind of decorated the black mask I really never gotten to using that much yet at least on myself pretty much but no one else all right water the usual I have my guards best guard system there is Andy's uh, dual magnetic guards these are not the, the new crap it's the old I literally had these for like 10 years the old stuff you can tell by the 1 16th guard it matches all the rest nice and sharp quality plastic good uh, good actual magnets on them then you have wall the wall guards um not made by wall this is like a third you know a uh, not third generation but like a um you know off brand name whatever they give you the whole 10 guard system with the holder normally it's eight guards and then the two extra got to float around so you have all 10 you have the 1 16th and a 3 16th so that's nice typical products you know spray all your clippers lube them up brush preventative it's a five in one this stuff is good got to be glued freezing spray the freeze spray blasting freeze spray that's good for uh, when you're shaping people up you hold the hair nice you know nice and uh, nice and strong um, same with this right here freeze hold too. the Tresemme that's uh, level five that stuff works pretty good too I kind of like this a little better though you got all your other little, you know, little stuff that you use. You get your hair fibers, which from Topics. You know, I use the Elegance when I'm spraying the hair color. Uh, Tomb 45. This is good for. Um, this is that that powder, the the powder that you put on your hair to hold it in nice style. Um, this stuff is awesome. I would definitely rec you know recommend these big time. Check into those. If you guys are uh, you know looking for something to do hair with longer hair. It's texturized and nice hold. You know. The gel we have from Elegance. This stuff smells good. Um, I don't know, you know, how they make their fragrances, but boy, this stuff is off the hook. Usually, that's the thing that I hear when people are like, "Oh, that smells nice." When I when I gel their hair, which is, uh, you know, kind of makes them more immersed into the haircut when they're smelling or seeing things. So that's always a plus. The usual panade. You already know. You got the the, the powder. Um, this way, you. you, you you brush people off at the end so they're not itchy and stuff. Um, that stuff always smell good too. Here, I want to get into Beard Octane. This 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 is like the newest thing for me. They're like a one-stop shop for everything. Um, anything beard, anything hair related. So they have, you know, like um, they have all the beard oils here. I mean, the best freaking fragrances there is. Um, you almost want to drink, drink these things as bad as that sounds. This one here is cool. I like to point this one out because this is not only, um, this is not only smell good. This has, um, CBD in it. It's actually CBD. So I guess it promotes actual hair growth by bringing more blood to your skin. So, um, I would check this out big time. This green one here, it's called Barbershop. Uh, and that's just the fragrance. You got MV Fabricator, which to me is the best smell there is. Um, but you know, they also have other products there um you know you have your uh, styling pomades your actual beard balms um texturizing clay same with black widow they got texturizing paste uh sculpting clay though and i mess with them a lot too they got some really good stuff same with in the back suavecito you know that's one of my favorite of all time all right that's just what it is blade wash always have you know your blades clean um, I don't do this often. I try to blow them out, but when I get a chance, I'll do this. This, uh, this stuff stays on your freaking clippers for a long time. You got to really clean the clippers after though, because it's like real oily kind of. But uh, you already know you gotta have you gotta have the lollipops for your kids, or you're losing out. All your cleaning products, you know. So I keep every I keep a tight ship here. I make sure I have, you know, everything I need when I'm cutting, uh, everything to make the client feel good. You guys could always check out these products. I'll have links below. Um, you know, you guys do what you do. All right, guys, this is just a real quick video. Um, 
you know, obviously where I cut, uh, I have my house shop. Uh, I love it here, you know, I don't have to worry about overhead or working in a crowded place where, uh, you know, who knows what's going on. So, you know, people love coming here. Um, they love the fact that, you know, it's kind of like a private studio in a sense and they don't have to worry about anything, you know, illegal going on. You know, there's a little bit more comfort when people come here and uh, they say it, you know, so it's really a homely feeling. So I I'm glad that I'm able to have a house shop and not have to deal with, um, you know, not that it's the worst or anything at a, at a barber shop, but, you know, I don't leave my house for anything. You know, uh, you know gas prices are rising. I haven't paid for gas in months. Um, because I don't really drive anywhere. I spend a lot of my time here. Um, so ho hopefully there's something that you guys, um, you know, seen just now that maybe you haven't seen before and you can look into it or check into it. But I'm going to do a few videos uh, coming up shortly on the um, the trimmers and how to mod them, which I think are going to be pretty cool because, again, those anti trimmers are like 300 bucks. All right, these, these trimmers that you're going to mod them, they're like 30 bucks on Amazon. So uh, maybe uh, you, you do some work and you, you find a cheap way to, you know, cut some good hair you know a lot of you guys are just starting out you don't have a lot of money um you know and you you want to learn how to make some you got to start from the bottom work your way up you know uh some of these barbers who are well established they don't have to worry about that they just got an endless bank account and they can just you know they see something new they buy it quick you know but um obviously we have a we have a nice house here <laughs> a lot of my money goes toward bills so i'm always i'm always trying to find something new uh, as far as mod wise and and what can we turn this into what can we turn that into and uh you know it's always nice to make a video on it because maybe it's helping somebody so um i'll have more videos coming soon i'll probably drop that video in a few days hopefully maybe like within three or four days uh you guys can check that out uh but in the meantime guys keep cutting hope you guys stick with it hope you guys are learning something new and uh that's about all, all right i'll check you guys later peace out